In tonight's Health and Fitness, 50,000 Americans will be diagnosed with malignant melanoma this year. 8,000 will die, which is really a shame given that this deadly form of skin cancer is preventable and curable if it is caught early. Skin cancer is the most prevalent form of cancer. Malignant melanoma is the least common but the most lethal. When discovered early, it's highly curable, but it is very aggressive and can quickly spread to other parts of the body. Fortunately, the signs of melanoma are easy to spot. The common rule of thumb is A, B, C, D. If the lesion is asymmetric, if the borders are irregular, if there is a color that's irregular, and if the diameter is greater than that of a pencil eraser. Dr. Kaplan says he's seeing a reduction in the number of cases among fair-skinned patients. People that are fair-skinned, very prone to burning, are now taking better care of their skin. But he says individuals with darker skin often think they're immune to skin cancer because they rarely burn. Dr. Kaplan says this false sense of security could be dangerous. They are more protected because their skin is darker, but if you take enough sunlight and get enough ultraviolet light or go to a tanning bed enough, you'll also get a skin cancer too. Skin cancer survivor James Creasy has this advice for sun worshippers. Sun damage is cumulative and it doesn't go away once it's uh, repaired temporarily. So they must be very careful, uh, keep their skin covered. Dr. Stuart Kaplan will be one of the panelists at the upcoming Los Angeles Times Festival of Health and Fitness. It's one of the largest wellness events in the Western United States, and best of all, it is free to the public. It's coming up on October 5th and 6th, that's a Saturday and Sunday, on the campus of USC. I will be a participant, so will uh, Lynette Romero, so will other KTLA personalities. And if you want more information, here's what to do. Check out our website at ktla.com.